uh, this kind of stuff isn't really my strong suit, but uh, you know, it's, it's either figure it out or pay someone else to do it. Uh, right now, I'm going to try and figure it out. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're going to install this uh, TV bracket. It's a nice one. It's locking so it sits in place. You don't have to strap it down or anything, but it'll just lock into place. You want to pull it out, pull the string down, unlock it, and this thing folds out um, almost, I think it's 18 inches. So it's pretty good. We have a small space in the bedroom where we're going to put this thing and hopefully um, it'll go in without too much of a problem. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is figure out where we're going to mount this thing. Um, you cannot mount these just anywhere in an RV. The, the walls are just too thin, they don't have any, any hold to them. But what a lot of the manufacturers do is they'll put these, um, uh, I guess, wood bases, these thicker, maybe half, three quarter inch um, wood bases behind the walls in certain areas, and they'll mark it. This one says TV backer. So we just got to find, I don't think there's anything back here. This all feels solid right here. Yeah, across this whole area here. So yeah, this whole area is, is solid so I can put the mount anywhere up here, which is uh, one thing I was a little worried about that we'd have a small space, but, but they gave us enough real estate to work with. Um, it should be a pretty simple install. Um, they gave us some mounting hardware, these ha, these four lag bolts um, that go in. And basically, um, we just wanna figure out placement. I'll, I'll push one in and then I'll level it out, push the other in and then um, hit the bottom two, right? Hopefully that's the way it'll work out uh, well for us. Um, got my handy dandy Black & Decker Matrix drill. I really love this thing. I keep it in the truck along with a couple other um, attachments for it. If you don't know, the Matrix um, has this body with the lithium batteries. These are the 20 volts. And they have different heads that come with it. So like this is your, your um, drill bit screwdriver head. You've got um, impact driver that comes with it, a sawzall, um, uh, uh, a reciprocating saw, and some other stuff. Um, a circular saw too. So I keep all those in the truck. So it's super easy to have, you know, four or five different power tools with you at any time. Obviously, you're not as good as their full-blown counterparts, but they'll absolutely work in a pinch whenever you're out at the campground. I know. In my head, the wife is saying, read the instructions, Scott. Read the instructions. So we'll look. We'll read the instructions. Well, the instructions say to make sure the TV fits first, and that's probably wise. I will show you this. I'll show you this TV we got. It's just a little 24-inch scepter. I got it from Walmart for like 80 bucks or something. Will it mount? Aha. Yes. It will fit. Hooray! So luckily they give you a level here that you can use. And that actually looks pretty level. I'll mark the next one there. Nice and level. See, wasn't that easy? <laughs> It'd be easy for most of you. Not for me. But that's okay. Well, we'll finish this up. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted really quick, plug it all in, hook it up, and uh, I was going to say see how it works, but we can't. But we'll, we'll include that part later. And just in case you haven't done this before, um, there's a pattern for these mount screws on the back of this TV, and then these mounts themselves have um, hole patterns. So when you buy your mount and you buy your TV, you just got to make sure that they line up or that they fit each other. So like this one is a VESA style 
um, 200 by 100. So when I look at the mount, I needed to, the TV, that is. When I looked at the mount, I needed to make sure that it supported 200 by 100 V, I think it was VESA or VSA. Um, but I'll, I'll put a little link below um, down in, in the description of the video to a tutorial that I found that'll tell you how to size up or how to make sure that your TV mounts fit whatever bracket mount you buy. I'm going to need a spacer in between the bracket and the back of the TV to make sure that that's tight. Otherwise, you can see this is very loose here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Anyway, I need to find the right bracket for that. All right, I need to find the right spacer for that. So it turns out the ones I needed are just these little guys here, but um, one is not quite enough, so I'll have to double up. Fortunately, they gave me eight. So I have four holes to mount. They gave me eight of these. Um, I can't say enough good things about this kit. It was really easy, and they gave us all the hardware that we needed, which is awesome. So we'll just put these spacers between the bracket and the TV. So you can see this thing is locked into place. This isn't moving anywhere. A little bit of a tilt there, so maybe I'll maybe we'll have to get some kind of a strap for that. Yeah. But I mean the thing itself isn't moving, and that's good. And then all you have to do is pull this strap down and it unlocks it, and you can pull pull your TV out. So I'll look into tightening that down a little bit, but uh, overall, really happy with this mount and the whole process. So it's done, it's mounted, looks good. This is solid. I don't think this is gonna come off the wall. Um, the You can see that the TV um, expands out, we can swivel. Um, it, uh, it's got a little lever here. And you can swivel it down if you want to. Lock it back into place. Um, so this is good. The you know it, it's not a ton of time that we're going to be in here watching TV, but um, for the little bit that we we do on those rainy days or those nights when um, we're just too tired to go out and enjoy the campfire after the kid is asleep, uh, we can sit in here and and watch a little TV, which is nice. So anyway, um, that's it. I hope it was quick. I hope it was uh, informative and helpful. Uh, if you like our videos, please click the thumbs up button. Give us a like. Uh, comment below. Uh, let me know if I did anything that uh, made my life more difficult. Or if you have other solutions for us uh, in, in this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not the best at this. And subscribe to our channel. We have tons of stuff um, coming out. We've got, like I said, we've got our travel vlogs, our how-tos, recipes. Katie's got her cricket making tutorials coming up soon, product reviews out at the wazoo. Um, anyway, so thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.